Hi everybody, how are you? We're going to start our next project called Heart Art. This will be due on February 9th and this is a practice session. You will learn about artists famous for using hearts in their artwork. You will be able to practice a variety of techniques in making hearts. You will be able to express yourself by using color and heart shapes to create your own artwork. If you do not have a particular supply like the ones from the videos, I think it will be very nice if you could use your art feed supplies. Experiment and have fun. On this project practice, you will need to have some chalk, oil pastels, construction paper, sharpies, glue and scissors, and of course, a pencil. You can also use some paint and cotton swabs. Let's listen to this video and look at the fun things that you are going to learn. Today, Today I'd, I'd like, like to introduce, introduce you to four, four artists, artists who love, love to use the symbol for love in their artwork. We'll, we'll start with, with a street artist, artist named James Goldcrown. Goldcrown. Move, Move on, on to one, one of my favorites, favorites Chris Uphuse. We'll look, we'll look at, at the colorful and pattern tastic art of Romero Brito and the artwork of Jim Dine, who does sculptures of hearts as well as paintings. Let's start with Jay Goldcrown. He's a street artist. That means he's paid to create beautiful masterpieces on walls outside. We could also call those murals. He does what's called bleeding heart walls. Let's give it a shot. You've got a piece of paper that's been folded four times, and today we're going to use chalk. The chalk, the chalk is, going is going to look quite, quite a bit like spray paint, paint. If, you if you draw a heart, heart go, over go over it a couple of times, and then massage it with your finger. finger. Now, now it has, has that soft, kind of spray painted look. look. Now, now when you, you massage your, your next color, color, you might want to use a different finger. finger. If you, if you use, use the same finger over and over again, your colors will start to blend. What, what Jay, Jay Goldcrown Gold does is he does a lot of overlapping hearts. He fills the entire wall with these hearts. hearts. So, so in the, in the time, time that you have, try to fill your entire rectangle with as many hearts as you can. Some, some big, some, some small, overlapping, overlapping them, going off the page. The page. That, that will be very similar to the artist, artist that we're learning about. about. When you're, when you're finished, finished you, you might want to wipe, wipe off your fingers before we move on to our, to our next rectangle. rectangle. All right, your, your turn. turn. Let's, Let's see your chalk, chalk hearts. hearts. Another street artist who uses hearts in his art is Chris Uphuse, but instead of using spray paint, he creates the hearts and then pastes them with something, something called wheat paste to the walls outside so everybody can enjoy them. them. To kind, to kind of give our paper, paper a wall-like wall texture, we're going to use oil pastels, and I'm doing something called a rubbing. I'm holding, I'm holding the oil pastel like it's sleeping, sleeping and, and massaging the paper, paper which gives my paper a really great rough wall-like texture. Let's, Let's make a heart. heart. I'm, I'm folding my paper in half, in half and, and as most of you know, when you draw a heart, your heart, your heart needs, needs to begin and end on the fold. I'm trying, I'm trying to make a very large heart to fill the entire space. After, After you, you cut, cut out your heart, heart if you ended up with two hearts or half hearts, you'll need to try it again. That means you drew it on the open side. side. I'm going to use, use a Sharpie, and with, and with my Sharpie, I am outlining my heart. heart. When I'm, when I'm finished, finished outlining my heart, my heart to really make it stand out, I'm going to draw a face. You can draw any kind of face that you want to on your heart. In fact, after you're finished with one heart and you've got a face on there, if you want to trade your scrap papers with your neighbor to make a smaller heart, you could do that. When, when your, your heart face is finished, is finished go ahead, put, put glue around the edges and glue it to your background. background. 
The painter and sculptor Romero Brito, his artwork is full of pattern and color, baby color. So we are going to focus on that for our next rectangle. To begin, we will be using oil pastels again. And your first step will be to draw about four or five lines to break up the space of that rectangle. Now that you've broken up the space, you've created shapes. Inside, inside of each shape, add, add a different, different color of oil, oil pastel. pastel. Make, Make sure, sure to color neatly, please, filling in all little bitty white, white spots. spots. When, when you're finished adding, adding the color, color you'll need to get, to get a black oil pastel. pastel. Now, remember, now remember, we're, we're using oil pastels, pastels not, not to be confused with chalk. chalk. If, if you are ever unsure, oil pastels feel a little bit sticky, whereas chalk always feels a little bit dusty. Chalk, Chalk also, also tends to smear everywhere, everywhere while, while oil pastels, pastels are more like a crayon. Like a crayon. All, right. All right, now, now that, that my space is filled up, I'm going to use my black oil pastel to draw a nice, nice big, big part. part. Then, then I'm going, going to go back and outline, outline those very first lines, lines that I drew, but only the ones, ones that are inside the heart, the heart not on the outside. outside. I wanted my heart to stand out, so I outlined it a bit. Inside, Inside of each section, section I'm, I'm creating patterns. patterns. Romero, Romero Brito, Brito loves patterns. So I'm, so I'm trying to create something a little bit different inside of each section. section. But, but the sections, sections are pretty tiny. tiny. So if so you have, have to repeat, repeat a line, line or shape, shape design, that is okay. Our last, Our last artist to chat about is the artist Jim Dine, who's a sculptor and a painter also. also. He, he also uses hearts, hearts in his paintings, making, making them look very thick and three-dimensional. Three so let's give that a shot. shot. Your, Your first step is you're going to use a pencil to lightly draw a heart. We'll, we'll also be using something called paint sticks, which, which you are, are going, going to love. So first, so first I'm, I'm drawing a nice big heart. heart. Now, now my paint sticks are divided in warm or cold, cold colors. colors. So for, so for the background, you need to decide, decide if you want all warm, like, like I'm using, or all cold colors. And, and what I do when I use this is I create little spots of color by just kind of wiggling the stick. stick. You don't need to pound the paint stick. That will actually damage the paint stick and make it so we don't have this really cool art supply. So you can either gently massage it or draw little bitty lines. And I'm completely filling up the background with my warm colors. Now that I'm done with that, I'm moving on to my cold colors. Those are some little lines you could also make. That's, That's because, because I'm wanting, wanting a little bit of variety. I don't want my background and my heart to be the same. same. So I'm just trying something a little bit different with my cold colors on the inside of the heart. Now, now my heart, heart is starting to disappear, disappear a little bit. It's, it's getting, getting hard to see. To see. So, so we are going to actually make it so it stands out a little bit. bit. We're going to outline it with a black oil pastel. Jim, Jim Dine's, Dine's hearts look, look very three-dimensional, three even though his canvas is very, is very flat. So to, so to do that, I'm going, I'm going to now massage my finger over the oil pastel, pastel to give it a little bit of a 3D look. look. Woo! We've, We've learned, learned about so, so many artists, and, and I cannot wait to see, to see what, what you create. Wasn't that fun? Who was your favorite artist? Well, I have to say that I probably like all of them. I would be really excited to try out the chalk. Let's see our next video. This one is just really just fun techniques that you can use anytime that you want to make a picture out of chalk. So you will need um, black paper and chalk and maybe a pencil. In this video, she asks that you label all the different sections, but really you don't have to do that. Just maybe make some squares or rectangles so that you have like a little special spot for each of the techniques that she uses. Okay, let's watch. In this, In this video, video, we're going to look, look at nine different chalk pastel, pastel techniques. techniques. 
There's, there's a paper, paper here. You can go ahead and get it labeled, labeled just with your pencil. pencil. You, don't you don't need to write it in white. It in white. Blending, Blending, little, little strokes, strokes, hatching, cross hatching, side, side stroke. stroke. Side stroke layered, layered has two sections. sections. Feathering, twist, twist pointillism, pointillism, and just, just the drawing, drawing technique. technique. First, First, you're going to select two, two colors, colors, kind of a light, light and a dark, and you'll put, put a little bit of color down on the blending section, and, and a little bit of the other color. color. And, then and then with the little spiral or swirly motion, you kind of blend those two colors together. together. When you when blend, it starts making the pastels look dull. So you, so you want to come back and brighten, brighten them up a little bit, bit blend just a little bit more. more. And sometimes they even like to go back in and just, just a punch, punch of color to help, to help make, make that and not blend, blend that very last little bit. bit. Little, little strokes. strokes. You're just taking your pastel, pastel kind, of kind of using the edge, and just making short, short little strokes. strokes. Shouldn't make, make much noise. noise. I'm just I'm trying to make. This is great if you want to do grass. I can, I can take, take another color and put, put that inside of it. And I don't, I don't have, have to blend it, just, just the two colors together help change the color. Try, Try putting the one color down first and then, and then the other color on top of it. Put another, another color, color inside of it and, and it can really get a nice, nice effect of grass or fur, or fur things, things like, like that that, that you might need for pastels. pastels. Cross hatching is a series of parallel lines. lines. This, is this is hatching. hatching. Cross hatching is parallel lines. lines that go in, in two, two directions. directions. So I'm going in one, one direction, and then I'm, and then I'm going, going back in another, another direction. direction. It's a nice, it's a nice way, way to help um, add, add shadow to a side of a container. container. You, can you can add, add more, more than one color. color. It doesn't, doesn't have to just be, be but that's, that's cross-hatching. Cross side stroke. Side, side stroke, stroke, you're going to just, just take a short piece of chalk and slide it on the side. Side, try and get different pressures, harder pressure, lighter pressure, See what, See what you can, can get for different, different techniques. techniques. Side, side stroke, stroke layered. layered. Take, take one color, slide it on its side, side. Take, take another color, another color go across, across it. it. Take, take that, that same color, color make another slide, side, side stroke. Take, take the first color, and notice, and notice that, that there's two, two different, different looks, two different, two different ways that shows up. up. Remember, Remember, pause this video as you need to while you're working. Now we're going to do... Feathering. Feathering, feathering. You take the light, light color, color at the top. top. Quick, quick, fast, fast long, long strokes. Then, then a medium value, value color. Quick, quick, long, long fast, fast strokes. strokes. And, then and then finally, finally maybe a second, second or a third, third value. value. And, it, and it, makes it makes a great, great like, like horse, horse hair, hair or person's hair. hair. Different, different ways to create using, using the feathering, feathering technique. technique. Long, long grass, grass weeds. weeds. So, so on. Twist, twist take, take a short, short little piece, piece and, and set, it set it on its side and just twist, twist your wrist and try and, try and get, get some different effects on your walls or objects, objects to make a different look, look to it. Pointillism. Pointillism. This, this one, one you'll know where your classmates are. are. But, but you shouldn't, you shouldn't have, have to. to. You just, you just put, put it down. down. It's, it's a lot, lot like little stroke, but it's even shorter, shorter than little stroke. stroke. You're just, just making little tiny dots with the, with the point, point of, the of the chalk. chalk. You, don't you don't do it hard. hard. Direction, direction you go matters. matters. Notice, Notice I change changed direction, direction and, it and it gives it a different effect with my points. You can add different colors. Again, this is great for grass, gravel roads. Things, things like, like that, that to create, create the texture, texture of the pointillism. And, and up to as many colors as you need to achieve, achieve the color that you, that you want. want. The last, the last oh, oh, sorry, sorry, we're going to put a little, little, little bit of blue for shadows. shadows. Remember, Remember, if you, if you need something, something darker, add brown, brown not, not black in, in your project. project. Okay, okay, now, now we're, we're going to go to drawing, drawing and, you're and you're just drawing with it, drawing lines, adding, adding little touches, touches detail to create, to create the, last the last of the, the nine, nine chalk, chalk pastel, pastel techniques. techniques. Remember, clean, clean up your area, area put, the put the chalks neatly back, back in their boxes when you're, when you're done, done with, with these pastel. pastel. There's, there's blending, blending, little stroke. Hatching and cross-hatching, 
side, side stroke, stroke different, different pressures, pressures side stroke layered, layered one, one color, color on top, on top the, the opposite, opposite feathering, feathering twist, twist pointillism and, and finally just, just drawing, drawing. Enjoy, enjoy chalk pastel, pastel techniques. techniques gee that looked really like a lot of fun i would like to try out the twist. It sounds like a song. Okay, so here's your project. You can use different colors of your uh, construction paper. Uh, this artist used blue. Um, you can see a little bit of black showing on this one and on this one as well. Experiment with different ways of using your chalk that you learned with the other videos. And remember to be very creative, always try your best, and don't give up. And like the art feeds rules, there are no wrong answers. So remember, if you don't have any of those supplies, it is quite okay with me for you to use the art feed supplies. Until then, have fun.